Hey guys, it's Michael with Mealy Marine, and in today's video, we're going to be removing carpet and cleaning all the junk out of this boat, so stay tuned. Alrighty, so I pretty much got everything out of this bow. I got all the carpet out, all the trim for the top of the uh, lockers. I mean, everything, every little piece of dust or anything. I did forget one thing. I'm gonna have to come back. There's a cigarette lighter down there that I need to get. And the only other things that are left on here are the uh, VIN number, whole ID number, and the transom uh, like trim piece. I think this is what they used to uh, put the top cap to the hull. Uh, it's just like, think if I take that off, there's a gap. So that's pretty much it. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the boat out and I'm gonna spray it down with a pressure washer and I'm gonna try to see if I can get the, the fuzzies. Well, looky here, if it ain't the fuzz. From the carpet up and uh, kind of get all the nasty gunky stuff off because we are going to start doing some fiberglass work. So without further ado, let's get to it.
Michael went shopping this weekend and picked up some stuff. We've got to remove the, the glue and the old carpet off of this deck. You guys that have been with us for a while have seen us do this two or three times now, I don't remember. But every time we've done it, it's been different. I believe this was recently, in the past few years, recarpeted. So we've got to get this down to the gel coat and ob for obvious reasons, two reasons. One of them is going to be to make sure we get all the old glue out of the way. As you know, we've discussed this before. If you leave old glue and stuff in there, it's not going to stick. Michael picked up several things. Obviously, we have the usual random orbital DeWalt. We have 60 grit on this. We have this tool, which I've had forever. I must have had this for 20 years, the Dremel. And obviously, it's one of those vibratory things. On your blades, if you're gonna use this kind of tool on your blades, don't get the super flexible one. We found it dug into the gel coat. And then Michael picked up this bad boy, which quite honestly has been doing a fairly decent job. Right now, this one here seems to be working reasonably well with 80 grit on it. Wish we could have found some 60 grit for that, but we wasn't able to. We also tried some chemicals this morning and neither one of those really touched this. What I would say to you is don't be scared to try different things because every one that we've done has been different. We've learned to be very flexible and try different things. Uh, sometimes, yeah, you spend a little bit extra money, but if you don't try new things, you never know. Michael and I talked a little bit about this morning is, this is just one of those jobs sometimes that can't take several hours. So, uh, you know, we watch other people's videos, car videos, boat videos, uh, car restoration, paint jobs and what have you. And it's not unusual for those people to sand on a car for weeks. We're, we're going to continue on with this and uh, we'll show you here. Michael's going to keep track of how long it takes him to do it. The other thing is if you're going to do this, be outside, don't do it in a confined area. Make sure you're wearing your mask. Michael's brought his respirator. I wish I'd have brought mine in, but we have masks. Everybody should have plenty of masks lying around. So make sure if you're going to do a job like this, it's better off to get a respirator kind of like Michael has. A few inches later, so Michael has been working very, very hard on this. And as you can see, some places we're down to the fiberglass. Here we have a soft spot, right here. So as you can see, there's four holes here where they obviously had something screwed in. So we'll be able to figure out what's going on here because we're going to put a pedal box in here. and. Uh, We'll kind of keep you updated and we'll show you any more of this kind of stuff that shows up. One eternity later. Well, that's it for this week's video, guys. I am so sick and tired of sanding, and I know I've only just begun. We did get most of the glue up. I would say about 90% of the glue is off this boat. It was a pain in the butt. So real quick, I wanna go over the tools that I used before we end this video. First off is a dual action sander. This is a geared one and it's pneumatic. So no matter how hard you press down, it doesn't stop rotating. Um, I used 40 grit sandpaper and that seemed to work the best. Uh, if you're just starting out, I'll start with 80 grit, then work your way down if the 80 grit is not getting the job done. Probably my most favorite way of getting this glue up, what could cause the most damage, is this wire cup wheel. It did a great job of removing it. It was able to get in kind of the nooks and crannies where this is not able to, but it can cause a lot of damage. On the edges and the corners where this cup wouldn't reach, this wire wheel works really well on this right angle grinder. So both of these go on the right angle and it did a great job. You can hold it up like this. You can kind of get up into corners. It works really well. But like I said, this causes a lot of damage. Maybe a less abrasive 
way to go about it is I use the these sometimes. These are just like um, some sort of like abrasive wheels. I will put a link in the description for all this stuff. But uh, this is just a riding battery powered right angle grinder. And uh, this wheel was a little bit too big for this grinder. It kept stalling out, but uh, I preferred this blue one over this. I did put this on a drill, but it just didn't really spin fast enough. Lastly is the scraper, like my dad talked about early, earlier in the video. This is one of those uh, like oscillating scraper tools, cutter tools. Uh, this is a rigid blade that we got. See, it doesn't have a lot of flex and uh, it works really well. Most of the time, that is the best thing to use. It just is really easy to scrape things up. Lastly, something that I found that worked right towards the end uh, that I didn't get on camera was this floor adhesive remover stuff from Clean Strip. Uh, it did a really good job. The only downside to it, which I guess it just depends on how you're wired, is that it takes about an hour to three hours to actually work. And you got to keep constantly applying it so it doesn't dry out. And I used that kind of on, on these edges here because it was really hard to get the grinder in there. And it works really well. I'm gonna put some more in the, in the 90 degree areas so that it'll be easier to scrape out. But that did work really well, about 26 to $30. And you could coat your whole boat floor in that and I'm pretty sure it'd be a lot easier to scrape up. Uh, it did work really well. So just wanna put that tip in there. So that's it for this week's video, guys. I hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something about removing carpet and carpet glue and getting your boat clean. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share. We'd appreciate it if you did all three of those things. And comment down below if you guys have any tips or tricks to removing carpet glue and getting your boat cleaned up. I mean, uh, I'll listen to anything. I, I need all the help I can get. Anything to make the job go quicker, and all our other subscribers would really appreciate the tips and tricks and be sure to check back next week where we get to fixing the soft spot in our deck so stay tuned